All right, so in one of my recent Pocket 3 videos, I spoke about how I use these Pocket cameras to make the monies. I mean, I legit shot short films with them, actors reels, and I sold a bunch of stock footage. They also run my entire travel channel. Just super saiyan, just super saiyan. And as soon as I mentioned I sold a bunch of stock footage, a bunch of y'all pulled up. So with that said, let's talk about selling stock footage with the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. And really all the Pocket cameras. <laughs> Vlog, buddy. Today. You are today. <laughs> ah, good morning, man. How y'all? How y'all doing? I'm not gonna lie. I got a super busy day today. Kids are dropped off at school. Got to get to work. I got four meetings. Make five meetings to five. Like what? Why do people want to talk to me so much? <laughs> But yeah, just a crazy busy day today, but we are gonna have to hit on stock footage because man, so many people ask me about stock footage. <laughs> More specifically, how to make the monies with these pocket cameras. Because again, yeah, they made me a lot of monies. <laughs> so we definitely gotta get into it. But first I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get to work. <laughs> oh man, some guy. Man, somebody trying to drive their car right into the water, like. Look, plenty of space. <laughs> uh, and done. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> okay, pocket one, pocket two, and pocket three. And now before we get into actually like selling stock footage using the pocket ones and the, the pocket three, let's go into actually what stock footage is because I realized not a lot of people know what it is. <laughs> and hey, look, no tea, no shade. Look, I ain't a hater. That's why your boy Sky Money is here. Okay, so now the best way to explain this to you guys is to think of it like this. Think of it like as if like you are a producer and your job is to find certain footage for like a show. Let's just say you are producing a cooking show in Atlanta, right? And the director wants just like this dope establisher shot showing the city of Atlanta. Well, what you will do, my ninjas, is literally go on Storyblocks and you would look for drone footage of Atlanta. And there might be a couple of reasons that you might wanna go and actually buy this footage versus going and shooting it yourself. The time might be tight, you might not have the budget to actually hire a licensed person who, like a, a licensed drone pilot. And the list could go on and on of why it is more efficient to just go ahead and just pay and buy the footage. Another example of this is you might want to get a shot of like maybe some leaves falling, like fall leaves, like the orange popping and all that other stuff. You might want to get a shot of that. Just again, just a simple shot of the leaves falling and you don't have the time and you don't have the energy or the money to go out, hire somebody and shoot it for you. That's where you go on these stock sites, these stock footage sites like a story blocks, type in fall leaves and boom, there you go, just a ton and tons of footage of leaves falling. So many companies, entertainment companies, movie companies, they all use stock footage. Almost in every episode, almost in every movie, some form of stock footage is being shown in there. And you'll be surprised at how much is shown in these shows and in these movies. Also, a ton of creators use them, a lot of businesses use it. It is, I mean, if you can't tell what I'm, what I'm basically trying to say is, stock footage is a hot commodity. Like, it is much needed. And my ninjas, this is where these pocket cameras bring the sauce. <laughs> okay, so now that we know what stock footage is, how could we use these pocket cameras to actually sell stock footage. And now with the huge bump up in the pocket three, I'm guessing you could sell a lot. And now the first thing to note though is that you will have to go through a site, but it's all anonymous, meaning that you set it up, you set up your payment information, but whoever buys it does not see that they're buying it specifically from you. All they see is the site that they're buying it from, like a story blocks. That's all they see. Next thing to note is that there are no audio requirements. Actually, I don't even think you could sell stock footage with audio. So the best way I found to do this is actually just to mute the microphone by plugging in an external mic and hitting mute and then recording. That's it. And if you can't do that, just mute it in post. Super simple, lower drop the audio all the way down to zero and you Gucci. Something else to note too is that the clips themselves do not have to be that long. They could be minimum five seconds and 
Yeah, you, you again, you, you Gucci. So as you can already see, not a lot of work has to go into actually making these stock footage clips. Like, not, like, not a lot. Matter of fact, I made one just earlier just to throw up as a test. I legit grabbed my coffee, laid the pocket three down on like a candle holder, and just shot me stirring the coffee. That stock footage. And now as for camera setup, I highly recommend shooting everything in D-Log or flat picture profile. And now you might need to add a little bit of saturation, but that's it. You don't need to heavily color grade because again, it's stock footage. So the people buying it are gonna, they, they plan on using it to upgrade for their color profiles, not yours. And then just, this is a good thing because that's less work for you. And now when it comes to the profiles for the Pocket 3, I will put in D-Log M and I will leave the sharpness to maybe negative one. And that's just, I'm just going for that for right now. I haven't sold anything yet with the Pocket 3 because it's still fairly new. But everything I've uploaded so far, I left the sharpness to negative one, not negative two or zero. I left it to negative one. And since I'm not filming my face for the EV comp, I just left at negative point three. Also shoot all your stock footage in 4K 60. And also make sure the quality is good, meaning no noise, no shakiness, None of that. Again, it has a built-in gimbal, so there ain't no excuse. Something else to know too, when shooting your stock footage, you gotta be aware of faces and brand name tags and like stuff like that. Like leave all that stuff, like the icons, don't try to shoot all of that stuff. For example, if you're shooting an iPhone, maybe don't show the Apple logo. I mean, I mean showing the phone itself is good enough. People know it's an iPhone. <laughs> but yeah, definitely be mindful of people's faces as well as brand logos. Like try to avoid those if you can. And now as for the site that helps you like sell or host the uploads of your stock footage, I personally use Blackbox, but there are a ton out there. And basically what these companies will do will allow you to upload your stock footage. They'll check it, make sure there's no noise in it, make sure it's clean, make sure there's no audio in it. And then they will just put it on all these other sites. Like basically they're acting as distributors for all these other sites. And and then you just leave it. You don't do nothing else. And when someone actually buys it, you'll just get an email saying what they bought and how much they bought it for. And my ninjas, that's that's basically it. <laughs> like, it's so easy. Now it is a bit time consuming, but for the most part, it's it's easy. And now, like I said before, the pocket cameras are actually perfect for stock footage, but you also could use your, your more professional cameras like the Sony ZV-1, Sony A7S III, or just any bigger camera, or even the Sony ZV-1. You could sell stock footage from those cameras too as well. It's the action cameras that I, I have had no luck selling any stock footage. Unless, again, unless it's like on a drone, like you got a GoPro Hero 12 on a drone, yeah, you're probably gonna sell that stock footage. But if it's just like shooting leaves or like shooting uh, the street or uh, landmarks, stuff like that, it is not gonna sell. I'm just being real. Action cameras just don't have a good look to them. And that's why I'm saying these are not action cameras. They're more, they're more lines of point and shoot if you, like the, the boss point and shoot, if you picking up what I'm putting down. And yeah, my ninjas, that's it. Get out there and shoot some stock footage and um, make some monies. <laughs>that answers some of you guys' question about stock footage. Uh, I kind of rushed through it because I ain't have that much time. <laughs> I actually got to get back to work. Plus the video would be crazy long if I went over everything. And that concludes Sky's Guide to Stock Footage using these pocket cameras. <laughs> now I'm at Ann and Maxon. I got to get back to work. <laughs>
bosses. Thanks again for the coffee. And if you want to buy me a coffee, don't be shy. The link is down below. But if not, no tea, no shade, because y'all know I ain't a hater. No, but seriously, though, thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it because I enjoyed making it. And I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Hopefully when it's like a lot quieter. Y'all hear all that noise? Like, that noise is ridiculous. Jeez. <laughs> Hey, how long are those bills gonna be going? <laughs> I'm trying to finish this vlog. <laughs> Come on, man.